What is going on everyone? If you haven't heard, well, Ashes of Creation just dropped some big news today on their dev live stream. They announced that Ashes of Creation has officially been moved to Unreal Engine 5. With the majority of the migration already complete, and they gave us some new gameplay going on in the background showcasing some of these new features the engine provides. So what exactly changes in Ashes of Creation with the new engine? Well, to start out, in the long run, it provides continued support for Ashes of Creation with the engine. As with all things, eventually Unreal Engine 4 will run its course and stop being supported by Epic. Even if that's a long ways down the road, they will eventually pull the plug and move on to Unreal Engine 5 completely, as that's what everyone does. You make a new software, you eventually give up supporting your old software. Meaning, when this happens years from now, it could be a much larger process for Intrepid to move a complete version of Ashes of Creation over to the new engine and doing it now in the Alpha 1 phase of testing and development this could save a lot of time down the road. The engine also has some new features to help the development and performance of the game as well such as large world support which Unreal 4 did not have which allows a lot bigger worlds to be developed and less of a workaround which Intrepid has been doing with Unreal 4 and gives it a lot more support. It also has the ability to allow multiple devs to work in the same sub-level at the same time, which Unreal 4 would only allow one dev at a time in that sub-level, and this alone could speed up the development a lot and save a lot of time, as you don't have to wait for other people to finish what they're doing before you can get in to make your changes. Unreal 5 also comes with Nanite and Lumen. Lumen is a lighting feature in the engine that gives a much more realistic lighting to the world compared to Unreal 4, which is heavily showcased in the gameplay they showed. There are even some points that are blinding coming from the caves out into the world and into the sunlight again, and it makes the cave systems itself look a lot more realistic. Nanite is a new approach to rendering, which can allow artists to import a higher quality mesh without reducing the poly count, meaning that the textures in the world itself will look much more crisp and high quality than in Unreal 4. As for the impact that this has on development time with Ashes of Creation, well, Steven didn't give an exact solid answer on this, but in the long run, it should greatly speed up the development time of the game. But to get there, they will need to finish migrating the code, fix any bugs that pop up with this, and then go apply these new features that the engine provides throughout the world, such as with the lighting. So in the beginning, it could add a bit of time and potentially push back maybe Alpha 2 a bit, but in the long run, it'll save a lot of time and really speed things up. So it's really hard to say right now if this will even affect the end game dates and their rough estimated release date which we don't actually know when it is but they do they have it in their head somewhere down in a california in intrepid studios with this announcement came the new Ashes gameplay. In a brand new winter biome that we haven't seen before, taking us through some caves and dwarven ruins, and as you can see in the gameplay, the weather system is active as it heavily snows outside these caves. We also get a look at some new features that have been added since Alpha 1, such as the ability to mantle rocks and pull yourself up, and even crouch, which gets you into a tight space, which even prevents enemies from attacking you as they can no longer get to you. We also get to look at some new mounts, such as the Drake of the Canopy, the Skinwalker, the Carmine Chameleon, and the Moonstrider. Drake of the Canopy being my absolute favorite, as it's like this leafy dragon. It's kind of cool. And otherwise, the gameplay shows a lot of what we've seen before with combat, as they aren't quite ready to show these big combat changes yet. But again, it does show a lot of the lighting done by Unreal Engine 5. What are your thoughts on the move to Unreal Engine 5? Let me know in the comments down below. And if you're new to Ashes and have yet to make an account, feel free to use my referral link in the description below. Otherwise, be sure to hit that subscribe button, click that thumbs up, turn on the bell for notifications, and stay tuned for a lot more to come.